Well, welcome back everybody. You guessed it, we're back at it again. This time, got the ambulance out, sorta of solo. Don't have the uh, support vehicle of the Overland Caddy with me. I have stripped everything out of it and moved it into the ambulance. So, it now has solar, a bit of a build in it, and some temporary stuff that I will show you later in the video. Right now, we are out at Yellowwood State Forest, one of my absolute favorite places to camp. As you can probably tell, because we are here a lot. Got beautiful wife with me. It's a balmy 84 degrees out, about 6 o'clock on a Friday. We just got out here. Not a whole lot of people camping, because there is a chance of rain tomorrow, and I think it scared a lot of people off. But We've got some good food playing, a bit of relaxing, a whole lot of enjoying ourselves, see what the weather holds up like tomorrow. But if it does rain, we've got the ambulance with us, so no putting up a wet tent. So We're going to a get camp set up, what little there is to do. Figure out dinner here soon, and I'll be back shortly. Absolutely beautiful evening on the lake. Since we have two vehicles, we brought all the fishing gear, so we're probably going to head down to the spillway tomorrow at some point. Maybe go down and do a little catfishing tonight. If you wonder why I keep coming back here, this is the reason why. It is beautiful out here. And let me show you how close this is to where we're camped. So a short hike up this path right here. And you can see our campsite right there. Okay, well Ashley is off to the store to grab some things we forgot. The local IGA is only like six miles away, so that works out pretty good. Let me show you what has changed since our last trip. First off, I don't know if you can see way up top there, stole the solar out of the ambulance, or the caddy, and it is now in the ambulance. So 250 watt panel on the roof so far. Take you around here to the other side. It is kind of a mess, but there's the electrical cabinet we've got going. 120 amp hour lead acid battery, fuse panel, everything marked, and small inverter I already had. Um, the big tan colored box there is the battery charger out of the ambulance. It shuts us off and take you inside. So if I've showed in other videos, we got storage in the back. Got the bed set up here. Let's go around to the main door. Fancy little folding step Ashley picked up on Amazon. We have the Alpacool fridge freezer running over here. Finally got some linoleum down literally last night. Porta potty and stuff over there. Rolly chair because we have short ceilings. Built a temporary countertop with totes in it to store all of our kitchen gear. Um, got a little Coleman butane stove and stuff to use in the ambulance if we need it. We have solar controller on the inside so I can monitor it and a few working lights. Of course, got the max air fan and a very ugly ceiling in for now. Separate little vent there in the back. Got some more work to do, but this is the temporary build. Something um, everybody has told me to do. So, why temporary build? Simple. Get used to this thing. This was all scrap wood that uh, some friends of mine gave to me and stuff like that. So, I already had it. Uh, budget super tight. So, um, kind of had to make a, make a choice. Do we build it out the dream rig that we want? Make everything we like? Or do we put together a temporary build and get to camping? So, we went with temporary build. Get out and do some camping. Around fall, I'm going to start tearing some of this out and actually building it the way I plan to build it, which is all nice and finished and all that. But where we're at so far, some people's asked for a van tour, and this is it so far. So I'm going to start getting some firewood ready because as soon as Ashley gets back, we're making dinner. All right, all my bushcrafty people. Are you a log cabin style fire starter? 
the TP style fire starter or the random chaos? Let me know in the comments. Well, dinner time. So, what we're gonna try tonight? Something we haven't tried before. We have massive piece of fresh break bakery bread, as Steve Wallace would say. French bread, pizza sauce, cheese, olives, mushrooms, <coughs> banana peppers. Obviously, Ashley has already opened and started eating pepperonis and green peppers. We're gonna try and make some French bread pizzas. Now she's cutting up the green peppers and I got these split up here, right there. And gonna start making some pizzas. Well, here is my attempt. Pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, banana peppers, and green peppers. Ashley is in the process of making hers. She stole my pizza sauce even though she bought her own. What are you putting on yours, dear? I am putting black olives, mushrooms, green bell pepper, pepperoni, and cheese. Awesome. See if these work. Ashley doing her best salt bay, but with cheese. Cast iron pan buried below there. Fire going, wrapped them in aluminum foil. Gonna give them, I don't know, 30 minutes or so and kind of check them and see what happens. They sure smell good. Well, it's pitch black out here, and I managed to eat all of that French bread pizza. Ashley ate almost all of hers. By far the best French bread pizza I think I've ever had, definitely ever made. Gonna have to do that recipe again. It was really easy, took a while to cook, but boy was it tasty. So, gonna sit around the campfire a little bit, get ready to call an ambulance here in a bit, and call it a night. Looks like we got some rain coming in the morning, so we'll see how tomorrow plays out. We'll see you then. Well, everybody, rain set in pretty good, so looks like it is breakfast in the ambulance day, so we're keeping it easy. Some fresh blueberries, light vanilla yogurt, and some great value granola. Actually, healthy breakfast, pretty tasty. We brought eggs and all the good stuff, but it's raining and I don't want to splatter grease all over my new paint, so for now, Easy breakfast, and let's, let's zoom over to a crunchy girl here, whose breakfast is potato chips. <laughs> potato chips. A quick demonstration of van life YouTube realities. This is the breakfast you make that looks all healthy and delicious. And then here's the reality that Ashley wanted. Same thing, but in the famous redneck red solo cup because she didn't want to have to do a dish. This is the reality and it's all <laughs> her fault. Oh, me. Hi. <laughs> We got the firewood, we're good to go. So, quick trip into Nashville because we forgot to buy butter. Always forget something, usable, multiple things. 
but picked up the most difficult of all camping meals to make while we were there. That's right, McDonald's. So that's what we're going to have for lunch, keeping it super easy. Sun's finally out, stuff's drying out, solar's pumping away in the ambulance, so we got some juice coming in, which was much needed. So going to enjoy our lunch, maybe go do some fishing here in a little bit. Not sure yet, but it's getting warm, beautiful day, still enjoying ourselves. So that's where we're at. Oh, McDonald's was tasty. Real true campers here. Staying in ambulance, eating McDonald's. Gonna get tagged as a glamper. But we're gonna hop in Ashley's car here and head over to the spillway for a little bit and see if we can't catch some fish. Nice overcast day, nice cold rain last night. Hopefully they're biting. There's usually a ton down there, so we're gonna see what we can do. Heading there now. Let me explain something about my wife. It could be 30 degrees, which is a good time. Let's start a fire. It could be 90 degrees and sunny. Should we start the fire? It could be raining. Should we start the fire? She is a pyro. That's right. More food on this eating cooking channel where we camp. So it is dinner time and we are going to make a very simple old classic for us anyway. Used to be a little restaurant in our town called Charlie's Drive-In. Cook there was named Bob and he made what was called Bob Burgers. So we're having Bob Burgers tonight. No magic to it, it's as simple as some hamburger patties. Cook them up like you would any old regular meal. When you're done, you take that hamburger patty, some bread, some cheese, a little butter and slap that thing on a grilled cheese sandwich so grilled cheese sandwich with hamburger patty in the middle i usually put some pickles and mustard on mine and you've got a bob burger so then to get started that's what we're having for dinner all right traded out the uh, skillet for the griddle and let's see if we can make these work Well buttered bread. Well buttered me. Cheese, we're using Kobe Jack. Pretty thin, so I'm going to use two slices. You could do a slice top and bottom, but then it's impossible to peel the sandwich apart if you want to put any toppings on it. Well, we retreated the ambulance because we got rained on, so. One got a little overcooked, but still tasty. Got some chips to have with it. Raining outside, so we're gonna sit in the ambulance and enjoy our dinner. Well, we woke up this morning to tapping on the ambulance roof, and it turns out all the pine trees we're under are shedding seeds. So, That was the noise. Pieces of pine cones, I don't know if it's from squirrels or what, but falling all over the roof. Well, before we call it a day, take one last little walk down here to the lake, because it is beautiful. Wind's picking up, weather's perfect, but it's Sunday and sadly we got stuff to do at home, so. Not living the nomad life yet, even though I did get to camp near a couple cool ones. Met a really cool nomad 
been traveling the country for almost five years was camped right next to us another gentleman was traveling on his way home helped him with some car troubles and really meet cool people when you're out camping one of the best parts so let me uh spin you around here show you this beautiful view All right, everybody, that's it for this one. Thanks for coming along, and if you made it this far, please hit that like button. It does help the channel. Getting close to that 1,000 mark, still a few hundred to go, but uh, appreciate every single one of you for watching these videos and coming adventuring with us. We will catch you next time. As always, thanks for watching Hoosier Outdoor.